Getting new details tonight on a story you saw first right here on 7. Police say the man who opened fire on the Lodge Freeway may be suffering from mental illness. Simon Shaquette live on Detroit's west side. And Simon, a search of the gunman's home has uncovered even more weapons to add to that pile we saw on the highway. Absolutely, Stephen. You know, the suspect here in this Lodge shooting had as many as 15 guns we know now. And that is extremely troubling to detectives. Also, they found out the crash victim out here was not wearing her seatbelt. It's the footage of a violent episode at the end of rush hour. A driver in his 50s who rear-ended a woman, threatening her with a gun, then opening fire seconds later on a good Samaritan who only stopped to help. Eventually, the armed driver giving up to police. We got a search warrant for his house. At that time, we went inside of his home. Uh, there was obvious signs that there may be some mental health issues. We're going to try to figure out where these weapons came from, who they're registered to, how they became into possession. Police also say the woman injured in the initial crash did not have a seatbelt on. She is still hospitalized with a broken arm and a broken hip. Police have spoken with family of the Good Samaritan, but he's chosen not to speak publicly after his fortunate escape from danger. The best thing to do is call 911 and tell us where you're at, where the location is, and let us get out there. As for the man in custody for the shooting, six more guns were found in his home in addition to all of these. But police say when he struck a woman heading southbound near Seven Mile Tuesday night, it was not due to road rage. But what happened after, a combination now of mystery and miracle, no one else got hurt. For some reason, uh, he pulls out the, the firearm again and fires one shot at this individual. Uh, the dead individual leaves the scene naturally, which what most people would do when you get shot at is you leave. The suspect remains locked up but has not yet been charged. Meantime, the ATF now also assisting with this case. Live on Detroit's west side, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.